How do your pants fit right now? Are they a little loose in the waist? You don't have to live with them like that. Let's fix it. Get your sewing machine out and let's do this. My grandma was an expert. She made my mother's wedding dress and clothes for her and I. She taught my mom how to sew and my mom taught me. And I'm teaching my daughter how to sew. It's more than a skill, it's love. Welcome to Stephanie's Sewing Studio. Let me teach you how to do what I love. Hey, Mesa. Hi. Oh, I totally forgot my shoes. Oh, okay. it's okay. We don't need your shoes because we're not okay. doing a hammock. Okay. So tell me what is wrong with the fit of these pants. Everything is good on the legs except the waist. Okay. It's just large around the top of my hips. Okay. And whenever I like wear a shirt, it... It sticks out in the back and in, in the, the front. front. Okay, I'm gonna put some pins in the back. Okay. And uh, this is my favorite seam to alter is this one in the back right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put some pins in here and you're gonna tell me if that's too tight or if it's not tight enough, all right? That feels really good. Yeah? Yeah. How's that feel? That's good. That's good? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it looks good. I'm going to put one more pin in. Okay. And I'm going to try not to stick either of us. <laughs> okay. Okay? Yep. Yep. That feels good. Yep. Yep. Okay. So this is navy. Three eighths inch doubled. Because I think these ones just have a little extra material in them. Because those ones are a little bit looser on my legs too, these, and all three of these are a little tighter on me. These. So I these wonder if three, these are just. Yeah, these smaller. actually feel like like they have either less spandex and less give than this fabric does. Yeah. Or something. But this fan. Look, look how stretchy this is. Yeah. Compared to these, which are not not quite that stretchy. Right. So. I'm sorry the pins were giving you grief. That's okay. <laughs> I felt bad for like breaking your pins. I have thousands. I literally <laughs> have thousands of pins. So we're just going to throw those away. Okay. But the navy are three eighths of an inch. These ones are pinned. Okay. Um, These ones want... felt the same as the navy ones. So let's just do the navy and the black at three eighths of an inch doubled. Okay. The, the gray ones are as pinned. Okay. Okay. And did you have the other ones off? I do okay, have these sweet. ones on. <laughs> All right. So let me feel okay. and see how, how these feel compared to... Yeah, these feel like the black and the navy ones. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put a pin in at 3 8 inch and then I'm going to take it out. Okay. <laughs> before you change, okay? And then, Mesa, I can teach you how to do this, and you won't need me, oh. even, even though I, I do want you to need me. But, you know, if you watch the video, there you go. do it. You can learn how to do it. Get your sewing machine out. I'll always need you, Sister Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sweet. Okay. Three-eighths of an inch. Doubled. So that's actually three quarters of an inch because it's it's pinched, it's doubled. That feels good. That feels good? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do these the same as the other dark ones. Okay. And you're gonna love them. That's so weird. Yeah. Didn't I tell you, like it would be my look? It would be just- In theory, like, they should be the same, right? <laughs> in theory, right. But, but a lot of times if the fabric is different, I will have people just try the different ones on because because the fabric is can deceive you, right? It, you don't, you never know how much spandex they put in your fabric. It makes all the difference, for yep. sure. Yep. All right. Okay. Let's go take those off. Perfect. Good morning. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be working on Mesa's pants. Mesa brought in four pair of pants that fit everywhere except the waist. Now she told me that she ordered all four of these pants in the same size from the same company. Usually when someone tells me they are identical, 
I look at the fabric. These fabrics are different. They have a different amount of spandex in them and I can tell by the way they stretch. Um, usually if pants do not stretch, chances are very good you can just have them try one pair on. If they are same size, same style, everything is the same. But with these pants, there is a certain amount of stretch to each one. So we did have her try each one of these on. The gray ones stretch more than the dark colored ones. So the dark colored ones are all going to be taken in 3 eighths of an inch doubled. And the gray one is going to be taken in 5 eighths of an inch doubled. It's got more stretch. Let's start this project and then everything starts with deconstruction. First thing I want to do before I start is make sure I have written down the measurements that I want to take in. So I'm going to write down 5 eighths inch doubled for the gray. And I know that the rest are 3 eighths inch. Never take my pins out until I have that written down. Okay, so pins can come out. Okay, now let's look at the back of these pants. All right, this is the seam we're going to take in. Okay, I notice, I notice there's top stitching. All right, and I also notice we've got to take off this belt loop. The belt loop has tiny, tiny zigzag stitches along here, along here, and it's also sewn into the waistband. All right. We're just noticing how to put it back together before we ever take it apart. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is take out this stitching right here. I'm going to take out this stitching right here. I'm going to take this waistband off and I'm going to take out the top stitching of this seam. All right, we don't have to take this seam out. In fact, it's better if we leave that seam in so that it will, we, it, it will line up. But we're going to take out the top stitching so that, we can, so that we can get to that seam to alter it.
Alright, so I want to show you what I'm doing. I'm taking out this top stitching and I noticed that it's a chain stitch with a serger. Now the great thing about a chain stitch is if you get the thread, if you pull the correct thread, it comes out in a chain like that and then you can just pull it out. Perfect. Now I don't have to pick out that top stitching. Yeah, very nice. Beautiful. Okay, let me show you what I've done. Three things I, I want to tell you about. First of all, there's no seam in the waistband. A lot of times there's a seam and it's easy to alter because the seam is already there. We'll create a seam and that's not a problem. Another thing I noticed, there's top stitching on the inside of that waistband. Can't forget to put that back in, not a problem. And the other thing I want to make note of, I went to the side. We're only taking in 5 eighths of an inch doubled, but this seam is easy to put back in. So I just give, just give yourself generous amounts of space to work. If you start working in tight spaces and you're going to hate your project, give yourself plenty of space to work. All right? We've got everything taken apart. Don't forget about your belt loop. We'll put that in at the end. Now let's, uh, let's, let's mark this waistband with chalk right at the center so I know where to fold that. Okay, I'm going to mark the other side as well. Ah, it's so nice. When they make these pants, sometimes they'll just put a little notch there right at the center. So I don't even have to mark it, but I did. And look, they did it up here too. Perfect. You know, Old Navy. They're not as cheap as you think. They're good quality sometimes, you know, these pants. I marked the chalk in the wrong spot. I'm going to I'm going to keep I'm going to use those notches that they use to mark these pants. Very nice. Okay? All right. So now we're going to go to the machine and do the alteration. First thing I'm going to do is find a matching gray thread. First thing we're going to do is make the alteration in the waistband. We're going to alter this 5 eighths inch doubled. All right, so we're going to turn this right sides together. We're going to put those notches that marked the center right on the fold. And we're going to pin it. Alright, I noticed that we have a, a stabilizer right there. I want to keep that in place. That's always a good thing to keep there. Now, 5 eighths of an inch. I know where to start because of my machine. Let me see if you can see that. You can see where 5 eighths of an inch is marked on your machine. Right. Every sewing machine should have the measurement markings to the right of the presser foot. We are going to 5 eighths. We're going to the fold because there's no seam here. If there was a seam here, we'd put that 5 eighths right on the seam that has sewn before. Now, we could mark this with chalk. This one, I'm not going to work with chalk. Sometimes I just like to sew with this gauge in my hand. Okay, a few stitches at a time. 
I'm doing five eighths. All right, now I need to think for a minute. Do I want to cut this? If we cut it, we can't let it out later. <clears throat> I don't think we need to cut it. Just for fun, just because you want to make it easier for the next person, I'm not going to cut this. Unless it really annoys me, uh, I might cut it. It's just a lot of layers to have going over. I'm going to cut it. If she wants to reverse this alteration, she can reverse it. She can reverse it a little bit, but I don't like, I don't want that to be folded over. So I am going to cut this. That way the seam can lay flat like that. Feels a lot better. Okay, we're gonna make this alteration using chalk. Okay, we're gonna get those, those notches right there to line up. I'm gonna fold and pin. Now we're going to measure and mark with chalk. And I'm going to cut it. Okay, so I have both of these waistbands altered. Let's put that back together and do the understitching. All right, or the top stitching. So anytime you have that top stitching, you have to undo a little of that top stitching and not the seam so that you can get to that seam and do the alteration. Just need to undo three or four or five of these little top stitches so that you can get to that seam and we'll do that on each side. So you can see, just want to make sure you can see, there, right there, those, those stitches right there is the top stitching. I've undone that so that the stitching right here is exposed. I'm going to stitch right on top of that and stitch these pants, back, the waistband, back together. Okay, I've noticed that this, this stabilizer is moving. I'm going to just move it back into place. So you see there's that stabilizer right there. Make sure that that's in the right place. See how we did? It looks pretty good, but I think I sewed with too much seam allowance. You see where the top stitching used to be? Right here, and now I can't see it. I sewed 
too much seam allowance. So I'm going to I'm going to redo this and sew it a little with a little less seam allowance. And it's going to be better. It'll just take a second to un to undo it. See, that's where I want that understitching to be. So I think this top layer, I could see where the stitching used to be, but the bottom layer right here, it, the stitching needs to be up here. So I didn't have it lined up just right. Let's just undo it. No problem. Just take a second. Why not do it right? Okay, so when I'm looking at the original seam, it looks like behind the, the back seam is just a little bit, little bit uh, shorter on seam allowance than the top. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pin it like that. See if that works. See how that looks. It looks better. I think I will accept that. I could do that again and do it a little bit better, but we're good. I think we're good. I'm going to do some some uh, under stitching right here, opening up this seam and just stitching that uh, seam allowance down to the one side. It won't let me get in there without undoing more of this waist seam, so that's what we'll do. Okay, that's looking good. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to make the alteration on this butt seam. We need five eighths of an inch at the top and then gradually go into the rest of the seam. And then we're going to top stitch it. Okay. I am going to mark five eighths inch with some chalk. And then, halfway down this butt seam, I'm going to mark half of five-eighths of an inch. Okay, what is that? <laughs> it would be ten-sixteenths. Five-eighths is ten-sixteenths, so we're going to mark five-sixteenths halfway down. You don't have to get that crazy, only if you want to. which is just over a quarter of an inch. One sixteenth over a quarter of an inch. Let me think for a minute. Because these pants fit her really well in the butt. So we're not going to go all the way down. 
Let's just go to zero in six inches. Can we do it? Let's go zero and six inches and then go five sixteenths halfway right here. See if that'll look good. We don't want it to pucker, but uh, I think this will be good. Let's see if how it looks. We just want it to be flat, and that looks really good to me. Um, the top stitching needs to be pulled out of the other side. And unfortunately, I took this out all the way down, so I'll have to put it in all the way up. That's all right. If I took out like an inch and a half, there's no way I could have stopped halfway down. We would have had to certainly go all the way down to the, to the right there. But this looks good. I'm going to put the top stitching in. I'm not going to cut this down. Maybe I should. Let me think if there's a reason. You know what? If this was, since it's stretchy and it'll stretch a little bit, I'm not going to cut it down. Oh, maybe I should. I cannot decide. I don't think I will. I think it's fine. That looks nice. There's a little bit of a wave in that seam, so I'm going to steam it with the pressing cloth after I'm done. Get that to lay flat. It's hard to sew on a straight stitch when you're sewing a stretchy fabric. You get those waves a little bit, but uh, if we steam it, it should be okay. First, we're going to sew this back on, but we need our belt loop. putting this back together. Okay, you may notice that I switched from gray pants to blue pants. That was an SD card thing, issue. But I do want to give you a little more instruction on this waistband. Now let's sew this waistband back on. We can see that we're sewing to the inside of that fold. So we don't want to sew on the fold, we want to sew on the inside of that fold. And if we look at where the other stitching was, we can see that it's on the inside, or toward the seam allowance. Let me point. Okay, so we can see that it's folded right there. Okay, right there's the fold. We're going to sew on the inside, maybe along, right along that white stitching. If we turn over right here, Yeah, we're going to be sewing right on top of that white stitching on the inside. So let's do that. Let's sew this together. This side looks good. This side, I can see where the previous stitching is. And I don't like it. I'm going to take that out and do it again. Oh, what happened to my belt loop? I gotta take it out anyway because the belt loop is missing. Dang it. <laughs> I will not be stressed. Let's put our belt loop back in. Put 
That's kind of funny, Abby. <laughs> the belt loop goes over that seam. Don't put it next to it. And in order for to get this to stay, I am going to pin it because that will wander. If it wanders just a little bit, we're going to be off. We want to get that smack dab over that seam. Okay, that's in. And I want to make sure that my seam allowances, my fabric on top and on bottom are the exact same and I don't get any wandering seam allowances in here. It's better. I can still see it a tiny bit. That's really making me angry. Why? Just gonna do it one more time. I am now going to take this inside fabric beyond the seam allowance of this one because it's not looking good when I have it exactly lined up. It's gonna come out just a hair. Okay, so much better. Sometimes you gotta get mad. Mad enough to do what it takes to get it to look right. As I tell my daughter Abby, now we're gonna do something called stitch in the ditch before we put this belt loop back on. In order to stitch in the ditch, I'm going to pin this inside waistband where it needs to go. You see where the previous stitching was on the outside here? We're gonna stitch right along this crease right here on the, or on the inside it was right there. And on the outside it's right in that ditch Sometimes it'll slip out, so we need to make sure that we've got a couple pins, okay? All right. In order to stitch in the ditch, I put on my, my zipper foot. This is what my zipper foot looks like, and it just allows me to get right up against there. You can do it without this foot. You can do it with a regular uh, foot. This is just easier for me to do it. I'm going to start all the way over here at the other belt loop, which it looks like that's where we started. We're going to just stitch right in that ditch and I can feel on the other side, I can feel that the other side of the waistband is right there and I'm going to stitch right on top of it. Here we go. Now we're gonna reattach this belt loop. We can't do it with the zipper foot on. I'm gonna go forward, back, and forward, back to give a nice uh, narrow zigzag stitch. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna start at the middle of our belt loop and it's nice, look, we centered our belt loop above that seam, if you can see that. Starting out at the center. That looks good. How you doing, Mesa? Good. How are you? Okay, good. <laughs> you ready to try them on? Yeah. I'm just worried about like when I go to put them on that I'm not going to be able to get them up over. I know. Them. I know. <laughs> uh, I know that when I pin them, the pin wouldn't stay. Mm -hmm. But this time they're stitched okay. and it should stay. And also it's, they're all stretchy. The gray pants are really stretchy. Mm -hmm. Then we have the navy and the black ones that have like this medium stretch. And then the striped ones didn't stretch very much at all. So those are the ones I'm really worried about. Okay. It's the black with the stripe because I'm worried that those are not going to stretch enough that you can get them up over. Okay. So those are my worries. <laughs> I'm going to let you try them on one at a time. Okay. 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 This is the hard part is waiting for them to come out to see if it fits. Like a lot of times I'll just sit here and pace when it was a hard alteration. And this one, you know, it had its moments. Sorry, I started tearing up because they were like fit. Really? <laughs> they fit. Really, Lucy? Yes. 
Oh my goodness, Mesa. And they feel good. And there's a little bit of room so that I can yes. like, get them on comfortably. But there's no gap. There's no gap. And it doesn't like stick out in my shirt in the front or the back really. Yeah. <laughs> and I can get them on. <laughs> I like actually cried. <laughs> Seriously. You know, I, I'm so happy. I'm just so thrilled. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're okay. welcome. I'm going to go try on the black ones. Yeah. Those are the other ones we were worried about. Right. And I'll do the pinstripe, and then we'll <laughs> end with the gray ones. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Success number two. Yay! It's the black ones? <laughs> These are the black ones. It's like they were made right for you. I know. Or like they were altered or something. <laughs> <laughs> they look really good. Good. All right. That's two or four. Pinstripe. Or the pinstripe. Yeah, the pinstripe I'm a little worried about. We'll just okay. see. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, yeah. Those are really cute. They actually were harder really? than any of the other ones. Because it, it felt like when I put those together. Oh, yeah, like. That it was less stretched. It's total, yeah. A lot more but firm. No, it's got the same amount of, like. Give and. Give in them. And, and no okay. gaping. They're good. Number three. Okay, okay. one more. <laughs> Success number four. Yay, look at that. Look at that. Good. These were the first ones I did. So yes. The first ones are always not. You know, not as perfect as the other ones. No, they're good. But they've got more stretch. They got a little... And they're, they're all the same, which is so weird because this fabric was so different. Yeah. And the measurements were all different. But yeah. They all fit. Yeah. The same. Sweet. And they're so comfy. Yay. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. So much. You're welcome, sweetheart. I'm going to cry. So I'm going to cry. No. All right, Lisa. Oh, I appreciate you You're so much. welcome. You're welcome. I'll see you at church. Bye. All right, bye. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. Bye.